Hey everybody, welcome back to another exciting episode of Testaholic with Willie. I'm Willie. What are we doing in the kitchen, you might ask? Well, today we're going to be going over some some care that, and maintenance for a cast iron pan. I know a lot of people are scared of using cast iron pans. I love them. I, I particularly love them. I, I'd rather cook on cast iron than anything. Um, the care can be a little intimidating. People think that they're hard to clean, which if you keep up on the oil after after the first couple cooks, it's really not that hard to do. Just wipe them clean and, and whatnot. But in the case that you don't get it clean or you leave it sitting like I did this one, it, it can get really nasty. So that looks like it's never coming off. That actually looks like pavement or something but to uh, make a short story long we're gonna figure out how to clean them so I got a couple different um, methods I have a scrub brush and this is a full circle bamboo handled tenacious C scrub brush made specifically for cast iron so it's a real nice brush. I mean, it's got some real heavy-duty bristles on it. I mean, this thing is, it's got a little scraper. Let's see a little, oh, there we go. It's got a little scraper there. Right on the end. It's a little sharper than the rest. So you can get use that upside down. <laughs> really scrape it right off. So I kind of like this. I like the handle. It's really nice. Um, you can get it on, get it on Amazon. Again, it's a full circle, tenacious -y. It's really nice. I can't wait to use it. And another method that I learned is chainmail. And this is solid stainless steel chainmail. Uh, it's like a chainmail rag, I guess. We're gonna open it up and find out what it looks like. Kind of excited to use this one too. I've never seen, I mean, we all know chainmail is, uh, well, what you receive on your cell phone sometimes. And it's also this, this little chainmail scrubber. But it was used once as armor. I mean, they used it as armor against swords. And as you can see, it's all interlinked chain. That's the name chain mail, but I probably could stab myself or something. Didn't go through. <laughs> but let's not try that at home, huh? But pretty neat. I can't wait to try that one as well. And you're not supposed to use soap and water for cleaning cast iron. It takes the, um, the oils off it that you want to stay on there. So the last thing you want to do is take your non-stick non surface, which is all this oil is baked on, essentially. And uh, that's what creates the smooth finish. And uh, hopefully we can get the inside looking like the outside, because I just refinished this one. And it's an old Griswold. And it deserves more life. I cannot emphasize how good it cooks up a steak or a burger. So we're going to go over to the sink and see if we can't use that chainmail I just dropped. Or this. This tenacious C. I can't wait to try this little guy. I'm hoping that it works like really good because it's, it's not going to mar up anything. It's really not going to be too aggressive, I don't believe. So... I'll meet you over at the sink. I'm gonna leave these two other perfectly good pieces of cast iron right here. This one's really big. And as you can see, look at that finish, look at that gloss. See, so a cast iron pan can be non-stick, just like that. And if you wipe them out after you're done cooking, like I said, this is a, it's a nice little pot here. A little bean pot or a crock. So keep those there, those are clean. I'll meet you over at the sink and let's get rid of this mess, huh? Okay, so we're back here at the sink. We got our, we got our cast iron pan here. We got our chain mail, and I noticed that in the package of the chain mail thing, has this, has this little hook. So I don't know how that works. Is it supposed to be a sticky? Oh, whoops, yep. So there's a little sticky thing. Look at that, we can put that 
put it on our sink, and then you can hang your chain mail there. Notice we have we have our scrub doggy and our scrub kitty already. I love these scrub daddies. We they come in all kinds of different versions. That's a different story. We're gonna try to clean this. Not with the scrub daddy sponge, but with our new tenacious and our new chain mail. So we're gonna go probably half chain mail and then do this half with a scrubber and we'll see see which one is better. So we're just gonna put a little cold water in here. Just enough to cover the bottom. And I'm gonna use this one first. And I'm just gonna go around in circles here. This was pretty baked on. I I spent some time I spent some time neglecting it on purpose so I could test out these products. And you know, I can see it working, but test out this here scraper side. So a few good scrapes. Go back to the brush. Wow, I can feel the lack of resistance. Means I must be getting the majority of it off there. Again, I don't. I don't recommend you leave your nice pan sitting there, neglected, but. In the name of science. We're testing things. We test them together for the first time. I I never do a I never do a video that or or try something that I've done before. Everything I try to do it. I try to do it the first time so it's genuine you guys can see what I'm doing. You sharing the experience with me. Look at that nasty stuff come out of there. Alright, so we'll give this a rinse. And see how see how it worked. Look at that. It did take take the majority off with just cold water. That way I can't get down past the big dawn oil there, but that is that worked fairly well. I have to sit here for a little while longer. Circles here. What are we up to? I've been scrubbing for about three minutes. And look, yeah, that is a big difference. Big difference. That does work well after you take that first layer off. Look at that. Well, I'm happy that it works because. It's a good scrubber and it's good for the environment. It's made out with a bamboo handle. We all know bamboo grows wicked fast. And, and uh, it's a 100% recycled plastic. So we're not doing any harm to the environment. And if we're not using soap and just cold water, we're saving electricity. You know, saving electricity. We're we're saving chemicals, cleaning things naturally. It might take take a little bit of elbow grease, but look at that. I'd have to say that brush <laughs> cleans that right up. That is a big difference between that and that is nice, nice and smooth. Now, give that a little extra rinse here. You can see our results a little more. It was pretty nice. It came out pretty clean. Now that side, let's go with this. What do we get it wet first? I mean, <laughs> it's not really doing anything, but here we go. We'll try this. I guess you just gently scrub. Once again, it's a all stainless, all stainless steel. Wow. This might work better than I thought. 
I can feel it like pulling everything right off. I'll try to stay on just my on this side. Try not to let the and that isn't that doesn't take very much scrubbing either. I mean, it does the work. Just a little bit of pressure with your fingertips. Let's see. See the results. I'd say that one's much faster. Much, much faster. And the results are amazing. Amazing. I like it. I'm going to do the rest of the pan with just this. Just a little. Let it fly around. A little bit of cold water. Whoop, splash myself. Ah, I needed a shower anyway. Yeah. Man, I really like this thing. It's cool. The chain mail, huh? Pretty neat. It will be easy to clean. I'm guessing. Just probably a little soapy water to clean this. And the, uh, the bristle brush. But I like it. I think that's... That is one clean pan. Let's get it a rag. And then what I do to finish the process is do like I normally would. Take this pan over to the stove. Put it on a burner, let it get nice and warm and dry. Leave it on the burner for five minutes, 10 minutes. Let it dry, just on warm, not on blistering hot. Look at that, look at that, look at that shine. I love this pan, there's a, look, I think there's a spot that I missed actually. Right there, that was the, um, that was the bristle, bristle brush side. Let's try to see if I can get down one little spot. Right here. Like I said, I go over to the stove and put the burner on low, let it, let it dry out completely. And when I feel that it's dried completely, I just give her a little wipe down with some vegetable oil. But look at that. There's no reason to be intimidated by cast iron if it's going to clean that easily. Should I show you how to... Um, yeah, I think I can. I think I should show you how I even go further and re-oil it. Meet me back at the stove. Okay, everybody, we're back. We got the pan is heating right now. I have I I've, I've washed our chain mail. It was really easy. I put it in my hand like this, gave it a little squirt of soap, jiggled it around, rinsed it around like that, washed it off, and it was completely just like nil. Right now. And uh, the brush, same. Washed it. It did take a little bit of damage from the heavy duty scrubbing, but uh, overall held up well. It was real comfortable in the hand, used. And if you don't let them get out of control, you should never need anything more than this just to, to wipe them down. So, what I'm going to do now, now that that's all taken care of and described as much of it as I think I can, if you have any questions, ask me. Uh, we'll drop it in the comments. I'll try to steer you in the direction, but um, Amazon got this. Uh, it's just stainless steel um, chain mail. It's all I all I searched, and um, and this same thing, full circle, um, tenacious seat cast iron scrubber. It's it's great. It's gonna it's gonna be great for all of my cast iron. And now that this is warmed up, I can still hold on to it. It's not. It's not crazy hot, but the bottom is getting there, so I'm going to just coat the bottom with a little bit of oil like that. 
run it around making sure to coat the whole inside shut the burner off now and then I'm gonna just take a wad of paper towels wipe off the excess and I'm gonna coat the whole pan the bottom the top the inside, the outside, every little nook and cranny, I am going to oil that. And when I'm done oiling all that, and I think that it's absorbed, absorbed all that it's going to, it's better off to take off the excess because it will collect dust. And we don't want that in our food. You always wipe it out and clean. Just give it a little wipe before you use it. And there you have it. Look at that shine. But I'm gonna give a little bit of butter in the bottom of that and an egg and I bet that egg will slide all over the place. But that's how I take care of my cast iron. Usually I just use a little scrubber, but this is now the new way that I'm gonna take care of my cast iron is if I if I let it go too bad, this. But I think this is gonna be my friend to get all the little remnants of burgers and and eggs and bacon stuff that does try to attach itself to the pan it will not have problem getting that stuff off I really like this from for easy maintenance cold water it washed it with cold water no soap no nothing just cold water and a little bit of time I hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, I enjoyed making it and if you want me to make some changes or do something a little different let me know I'm up for I'm up for anything negative positive I'm here anyways give that like a share and I thank you all for watching I hope this was informative and helpful until next time when I find something else that we can try together this has been Willie from Testaholics saying thanks. Bye-bye.